This video will demonstrate how to create groups in your course, how to associate a key assignment with groups, and how to grade a group assignment using the associated key assignment rubric. The groups tool allows you to create and edit groups and categories. Categories are simply tasks or activities such as assignment one, seminar presentation, book reviews, etc. To begin, within your course, select activities, groups, then new category. First, we'll set up the category. Enter a name for the category, then enter a description. Select from a number of group enrollment types, which define how learners are enrolled and how many groups are created. Number of groups, no auto enrollments. You choose how many groups and manually enroll participants. Groups of, you choose how many participants you want enrolled in each group. D2L will auto enroll participants. Number of groups, you choose the number of groups you want created. D2L will auto enroll participants. Group of, self enrollment. You choose how many participants you want enrolled in each group. D2L will create the appropriate number of groups. Participants select which group to enroll in. Number of groups, self-enrollment. You choose the number of groups you want created. Participants select which group to enroll in. Please note that there is no way to cap enrollments if you choose this option. Number of groups, capacity of self-enrollment. You choose the number of groups you want with the maximum number of students in each group. Participants can enroll in a group until capacity is reached. For this example, we will use number of groups. To apply a distinctive prefix to each group name, code it in the category, enter it in the group prefix field. If you do not fill in this field, the prefix defaults to group. Next, we will set the advanced properties. The options change based on the selected enrollment type. Because I chose number of groups, the following options appear. Auto enroll new users. Select this for when new users are enrolled in the course after groups are set up. They are automatically added to the group with the fewest users. Randomize users in groups. This is checked based on the choice of number of groups. However, deselecting this option enrolls users based on their order in the class list. And make category and group description visible to group members. For this example, we will skip the additional options, create workspace, because we already have the assignment set up. Select Save. Next, locate the key assignment and associate it to the groups. Select Activities, Assignments, locate the respective assignment labeled with a KA in parentheses, select the down chevron or down arrow, then select Edit Folder. Scroll to the Submission, Completion, and Categorization section, Assignment Type, and select the radio button or option for Group Assignment. Then select the Group Category, Activity, or Task. Select Save and Close. In this final step, we will grade a group assignment with the key assignment rubric. Select Activities, Assignments, locate the respective assignment labeled with a KA in parentheses, select the down chevron or down arrow, then select View Submissions. Submissions for each group will display in the list. Each submission displays the date and time it was submitted and the amount of time it was late by, if applicable as well as the name of the student from the group that submitted the assignment. Next, select a submission link to grade. 
Within the Evaluation and Feedback section, select the Rubric link. The rubric will open in a new window. Select the box for the level the group achieved for each criteria. As scores are selected for each criteria, the rubric will automatically update the overall score. Select Add Feedback in the Criteria column to enter qualitative feedback. The rubric will automatically save as information is entered. When finished scoring the rubric, select Close. Override the grade if necessary and take note that the grade will apply to all members of this group. Finally, select Publish. You can either grade the next submission or select the Back to User submission link to return to the user submissions. This video demonstrated how to create groups in your course, how to associate a key assignment with groups, how to grade a group assignment using the associated key assignment rubric. Thank you.